Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be doing a festive Christmas Q&A. And because I'm doing a festive Christmas q and I thought I'd drink out of my Christmas mug. It's actually just water, but today I thought I'd do a festive q and I've got all the questions on my laptop and we're going to go through and answer them. I thought this is a great way for me to connect with you guys and just let you in on a bit of my Christmas. And yeah, if you do like today's video, I'm also my favourite jumper. So if you do like today's video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below and let's get on with this. Now I've got my Christmas bedding on. I have actually still got some Percy Pigs because I, I haven't really had any lunch yet, so I might end up eating one of them. But we're going to crack on and do a festive Q&A. Or everything is going to be Christmas related because it's Vlogmas. Um, the last couple of videos haven't been that Christmassy. Um, I tried to do a Christmassy wintry soup. I did a French onion soup. And then I did, I wanted to do a colour for 24 hours. And obviously green is a Christmassy colour. So I did green. But I want to do even more Christmassy videos because I've still got like another 10 to do. Which is crazy. But anyway, it is real pressure because if I film a video I don't go outside. And I haven't been outside for a few days now. I do run every day. But I like to go out as well. So tomorrow I've decided I'm going to go out regardless. So if you do like today's video, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you don't miss out on any of the Vlogmas content. So let's crack on with these questions. So the very first question is... What is your best present you've ever received? Now... This is a hard one for me because my main presents, my bigger presents, are normally birthday. Like as well, Christmas, I normally just get like clothes, shoes, just like a bit of everything, you know, like a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, I would say, like I know this Christmas I'm getting quite big things. I'm getting like. A food processor and a tabletop mixer and stuff like that and clothes. Which I did say in my mukbang. But I would say... Yeah, I only really get bits and bobs. I don't really get a major present. Like my car... With birthday. But my major thing. I would say probably the best present I've ever received. It's probably like one of the concerts I've been to. Like I've been to One Direction, Shawn Mendes, Vamp. I've met the Vamp, I went VIP. Little Mix, Queen Like a Bear, which actually happened, Did I say Shawn Mendes, Harry Styles. And um, I would say most of them I get for my birthday, just because of the time of the year they come out. But I would say Shawn Mendes last year was potentially Christmas, because um, it was in March and my birthday is in May. So I have had concerts for my birthday. I had had concerts for Christmas, I just don't know which one's which, but I guess any that are like February, March time will probably be Christmas, my birthday is in May. But I would say probably concerts, and obviously my major present is my car, which I love, but that was my birthday. So yeah, I've had quite a few presents. Most of my clothes and that, most of my Jack Wool clothes and jumpers, well, apart from this one actually, um, apart from this one, most of my clothes and stuff. I got for birthday and Christmas so I don't really buy clothes. I don't really go that sh don't really go shopping. Especially when Hollister's only in especially when Hollister's only in um Leeds. And now the Jack Will shop is closed in Europe as well. But the one in Leeds is staying open. So it's kinda like purple, then it's pink and then it's white and I just love it. Um so yeah, I don't really have a major big favourite present. Nothing too specific. I also can't really remember what sort of my best present I've given to someone because I don't really remember them sort of things. Like, I know the major presents like are concerts and clothes and shoes. I know my pink Converse I got for Christmas, maybe last year. But yeah, I got this mug for Christmas off one of my friends. I want to say that's my best present. But my car, concerts. I think the Harry Styles one, because that was in the first one, the second one would be postponed, and it's probably going to be postponed again. That one was March 2018, I think. 
and that would have been that will have been um christmas probably unless it was my birthday the year before i would say a phone if i've ever got a f i don't know if i've got a phone for christmas a phone i got now i didn't get for christmas mum it was like a late basically my phone was always shutting down like my phone is doing right now i think it was the iphone 5 i had i basically um basically my phone didn't have enough storage. I still don't have enough storage. Because my mum basically had a budget. And the budget was quite small. She didn't realise how much. I knew that budget was not going to get me a phone. But it did just about get me a new phone. But the storage. Basically I've got 30. I had 16 and now I've got 32. So I kind of need more. Especially when I'm filming all these videos. I've got loads of videos on my phone to edit at the moment. Because I'm doing mass load filming. Because what I've decided to do is this week. Because... Because when I film, I can either film or go out. Because it gets dark really early. I run anyway. I either film or go out. I don't have time to do both. So nowadays, I... So this week I've decided... Last week I went out like twice because I'm busy filming. So this week I've decided I'm going to try and film all my content Monday and Tuesday for the whole week. Well, t um, and then like Wednesday or Thursday. If I, if I still need to film, make sure I go out first and then film. Because yesterday... I, which was Monday, I didn't even go, no, it was Monday today. Sunday, which was yesterday, I didn't even leave the house. I went for a run and that was it and it was raining. Today, I haven't even left the house. Um, tomorrow, I've decided I'm going to go out no matter what. And if I don't film a video, I don't film a video. That's why I have to make sure I'm ahead. Because last Sunday, I couldn't film. But I'm so excited for the Christmas holidays. I cannot wait. Especially because my family are home. I mean, they live here anyway, but they're not here during the day anyway. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So that's something to um, look forward to. But that does mean less filming, so I have to make sure I'm prepared for that. But I want to go out more. So tomorrow I've decided I'm off to the Zara Outlet, no matter what. But I also... I have pressure. Because if I go out, I have to film it, but I don't want to film it. I just want to enjoy myself. So it is pressure about filming. So I'm going to complete it. Because last year I completed it with college and two part-time jobs. And this year I've got absolutely nothing. I am desperate for a job now because money is tight. I think the rest of these um, videos have to be on a budget. I think I spent around £100 on videos. And I can't physically spend any more money because I've not, I've not even got £100 left. So yeah, so my best ever present is my car, but that was for birthday. I think Christmas has to be like a concert I've been to or something. It just depends on which one I've actually got for Christmas. June 1st was February this year, so that might have been Christmas. Anyway, at one of my concerts, when I met Vamps, that was probably the best. But, um, yeah. That is basically my favourite present. The next one is actually, what is the worst present you've ever received? And I've not really received any bad presents. That's the thing. Like, all my presents are good. There was one year where my mum bought me a t-shirt that I already had, and then someone else bought me the same one so one year it wasn't last year it must have been the year before maybe two years ago i got a hollister t-shirt twice i got the exact same hollister t-shirt for christmas twice i got this exact same hollister t-shirt from two different people and i already got it and my mum of all people i understand if it's like my grandma and my uncle because they don't live here like anyone i'm like my mum bought me a t-shirt i already had how does she not know what I've got? And if so, she can check. Like, I don't understand how she bought me tea. How does she not know what I've got? And she could have checked. And then someone else bought me the exact same one. So they both had to go back, basically. And um, the person that wasn't my mum that got me it, actually ordered it. So she ordered it. It cost, like, I think it's £5 for the delivery. And then she had to send it back. And it wasn't free. And then she had to get a new one. So it cost more in postage, I think. Uh, but I understand the other person because they don't know what I've got but my mum of all people there have been a couple of clothes that I've not really liked um I don't really know I haven't had like a really bad present I always think back in the day when I, mean, I don't really we don't really do this anymore when we were younger and we, we knew Santa was coming um we used to have stockings and you used to get like an orange in the bottom or something maybe that but I haven't had like a major bad present but I have had stuff before that I've already got. 
Question, next question. As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wish was for you? Now, I only have one. And I've got a younger sister. And we are the complete, complete opposite. And anything she got, I will hate. Usually, she gets clothes, which obviously are her size for her. I would say clothes or makeup. And I don't want any of that. So, no, I don't want anything. What I bought my mum this year, I might be borrowing though. And um, I bought her some, she won't watch this, so it's fine. I bought her some slippers, microwavable slippers. You put them in the microwave for 90 seconds and they keep your feet nice and warm. And actually quite cheap. Next question is, what is my favourite Christmas song? I am actually in love. So my all time favourite Christmas song has to be Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You. That is a classic, that is the number one Christmas song. I also like Liam Payne, Naughty List, that came out with Charlie D'Amelio this year. And I also like All I Want For Christmas, which was his song last year. So he basically had two Christmas songs, I love both of them, Liam Payne. I'm a huge One Direction fan, but I still like them. And then the Jonas Brothers, which I've seen live this year for the first time, February. They have done two Christmas songs, and I like both of them. One last year, one this year, a bit like Liam. One last year, one this year. But at the moment, my favourite Christmas song had to be, if you've heard Megan Trainor's Christmas album, I'm actually not sure whether it came out this year or last year, but I never listened to it. Like, I think it might have been this year. Anyway, she's got a Christmas album out, and I love every single song. Her Christmas album is amazing. Megan Trainor, I just love her. But I think Mariah Carey, the classics, have to be up there as well, along with Liam Payne and Joan Brothers. The next one is, what is your favourite thing about Christmas? Now, my favourite thing about Christmas is have to be present. I just think giving and receiving. But I do know, apparently, well, I gave a list out, obviously. So I know what's on my list. I've got clothes. I've got Jack Wills, two jumpers, pair of pyjamas. Well, one zip up, one hoodie. Pair of pyjamas and a rucksack. And they're 100% getting because I was there and bought them and I tried them all on. From my dad... That's for my mum and for my dad I'm getting uh, two hoodies, no, one hoodie and a t-shirt. Now what happened with the second hoodie was it was way too big, my mum tried it on and it fitted her. So now my mum's getting it for Christmas, mainly because it leads is miles away and plus it actually suits her. I'm just not too sure about my mum in a Hollister hoodie. I'm also getting a, a food processor and a, and a tabletop mixer. The food processor is actually in the room next door. The tabletop mixer, I don't know because that's on my dad's side. I basically gave two lists out because this is what happens every year. I make a list, give it to my mum, she buys all of it and there's none left for my dad. But apparently he's got me stuff I don't know about as well. So yeah, I would say presents, giving and receiving. Because I love giving presents to see people like, and I love, I've actually done, I've actually done quite well with a small budget this year. Having not having a job, the budget was a bit shorter this year. And I've managed it, but I would prefer more money to buy presents because I usually go all out. Um, but this year I haven't gone as much out as normal. That was I told you what was in there, it's just water. But yeah, haven't gone as out as normal. Normally I do loads. I think for birth, I think because birthdays are uh, spread out i think because christmas you have to buy for everybody you don't spend as much say you've got like 100 pound budget you have to split it between so many people so it's like 20 pounds a person that's what i've done this year because i don't have much money actually well i spent about 100 pounds i would say but then normally i was like, uh, like birthday i think i spent like 50 or maybe 60 I, th I spent 70 on my dad and about 50 on my mum I think my sister spent about 20 on, but that's because she's younger and she doesn't really buy me stuff in return. She does, but not much. And I'm not going to go into detail, but she basically wasted a present I got her a few years ago. Not last year, the year before. She basically refused. I bought I bought her something, for, I basically bought her something and she had to go to it. And she refused to go and then it was a lot of money. Basically about £50 and she just didn't go. And that was wasted. So for her birthday, I was like, I'm not buying you anything. And then I ended up spending £20 on her. So that's what I'm like. I'm like giving and I like receiving. 
and I cannot wait for Christmas Day. My dad comes round and all four of us are actually together. And that's just, I wish it could be every day, but you know. Um, yeah, I can't wait for Christmas Day. And I'm only a week and about 10 days away. Because it's the 15th today. So yeah, no, it's 14th today. In about 10 days. And I cannot wait. But birthdays, you spread it out a bit more. But the thing is, this is what really bugs me about. I'd rather they be spread out so I can have more money. I hate it when birthdays are close together because you can't spend as much money on them. So my dad's birthday is the 20th of February and my sister's birthday is the 23rd of February. So they're like really close together. So obviously I have to, I have to spend um, quite a lot of money at the same time. And then my birthday, I'm like, right, it's my birthday. I don't spend any money. But it's my grandma's birthday the exact same day and my mum's birthday exactly a week later. So I still have to spend. But Christmas, you can just... Christmas, you buy less. Someone just messaged me. Oh, I can't read from here. Someone, you, um... You buy less because you have to buy for everyone. But everyone gets a present, so no one misses out. Like, what, what my mum does is... We buy, she buys like loads of presents for me for my birthday and then loads of presents for my sister. My sister got more this year because she actually went to London as well. As getting, she got loads, of, she spends about the same on everyone, on both of us, and she got, my sister got loads of presents. But in addition to that, she got to go to London, whereas I didn't because we were in lockdown. Um, pretty much everyone has like had a lockdown birthday, but yet I, I, I have, my mum has, but then I think my dad and sister, they had a normal birthday. This year they're not going to because in February, but like, and they actually had a normal birthday. My dad went to Brazil for his 50th, my sister went to London for her 15th, and me and my mum went nowhere. But that's what happened, you see? So, I can't remember what the question was. What question was I even on? Favourite thing about Christmas? Giving and receiving presents. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? 1st of December, soon as it's December. Deck the house, make sure, well, what I do is I like to get all my presents in advance, then I always forget wrapping them, and I still haven't wrapped any presents, so that's something I need to do. But, 1st of December, get decking out, advent calendars getting opened, that is the time to celebrate Christmas, 1st of December. But this year I put the tree up on the 30th, no I didn't, 1st. 1st of December I put it up this year. Uh, I could do every year. What is your favourite? Do you use advent calendars? Yes, I do. Now, I not every year. This year I've had quite a lot. I bought two, and that was a lot of money because they're £8 each, which I could have kept for something else. But, especially with a budget being tight with no job, and I'm not furloughed anymore. But, I do. So, I've got a chocolate advent calendar. And as you don't know, I only eat white chocolate. So, I've got a chocolate advent calendar, which is a Maltese one. So, the white ones I get, my, the milk one my mum gets. And then my our grandma actually sent us, it must have cost a lot to send, the Yankee Candle candle calendar. And me and my sister, obviously it's a lot of money, so she's not going to get one each, so we shared. So I get the odd number, she gets the even number. So I get one and three and five and seven and nine. She gets the days in between two, four, six. So we get 12 each. And then I've also got a cheese and a candle because I love cheese. I loved all of them so far, apart from the one that had jalapenos in it. So the spicy one, so I'm going to make that. But I do use everything calendars. Favourite Christmas movie? So my all-time favourite Christmas movie, Home Alone. Home Alone is a classic. Number one and number two. I can't remember. I think the first one's in... I can't remember. The first one. I want to say France. I might have just made that up. But the second one's in New York anyway. And I think they're a classic. But most of these questions I've actually already answered in a mukbang. But if you didn't see them, I'm going to answer them again. Fa I didn't answer the present bit. But my favourite film, as I said in the mukbang, was if you've seen Bonnie... Oh, she's called Cat Graham. I learnt her name now. Cat Graham, I think her name is. Bonnie Tyler from Mampo Diaries. She does a Christmas movie. Last year she did Advent anti-Advent calendar. When the Advent calendar actually came to life. Well, the Advent calendar didn't come to life, but the things from the Advent calendar happened in real life. That was amazing on Netflix. And then this year, which I've actually seen twice, I watched it when it came out on the 5th of November and about a week ago. She's in a new Christmas movie this year called the 
Operation Christmas Drop, which is the best movie ever. And what they do in that movie is so special because they're giving out presents to people who can't do it themselves. And it's actually a real life thing as well. And I just think it's amazing. She actually went and saw it herself because she went work for this company and she went to go and see it for herself. And then she gave her bag and all the stuff to these people who can't afford anything. And then one of the island, the, the energy, um, I don't call it, electricity or something. I'm not sure what happened. But basically the school couldn't continue. Not being able to go to school because you can't, there isn't a school that, that's actually functional. I just think that video is so special. The fact that it's a real life thing as well. This is a Christmas drop, new on Netflix, have to watch it, and her last year's video as well, anti Advent Hand, I have to watch it, she's amazing in them and I love them. And I've seen both of them this year. I've seen the, I saw the um, Operation Christmas drop one when it came out on 5th of November and I saw it about a week ago, and I saw the anti Advent Hand one last year and I've already seen it this year as well. Also, there's a Hutchinson from High School Musical, Gabrielle. Um, she was in a Christmas movie two years ago called The Princess Switch and then number two came out this year. That's an alright movie but she's also in another movie called The Night Before Christmas and I love that and I'm yet to watch that again this year. I think that came out last year so I'm excited to watch that as well. But then my Christmas, I'm not, I hate The Grinch and Elf, not really a fan. But yeah, that's my pick. A funny Christmas memory. I don't know, because Christmas is kind of like, we wake up, we get presents, my dad comes round, we open, we have presents. We don't get up that early, we used to get up really, really early, but we don't anymore. I think it's 10 o'clock last year. I think we get up, we open presents, we have bre we open presents first, and then we have breakfast, and then we get ready for the day, and then we go to my uncle's. But now I drive, of course I'll be driving, because I don't drink. So I'll be driving. Um, it is about half an hour drive all the way to Leeds. Out, not like the centre, but and then we go and we just like hang out for a bit. Then we have Christmas dinner at about I don't know afternoon three four mid afternoon. Not really. That was kind of like your only meal of the day. We usually have a starter which I usually do and then they do the main course, my uncle's the main course and then um, and then someone else would do the dessert I think I did a soup last year and a prawn cocktail I don't know if I'm doing any of that again this year and I don't, my granddad isn't coming this year because he didn't want to risk it especially my mum and sister being at school every day you don't know what they've got and also you don't know where anyone else has been. You don't want to risk it, you don't know where they've been. I'm safe because I'm just here every day. But no one else is, so it's kind of like pressure. He basically wants, basically I actually think that's a good idea. I don't want him to come and then he dies next year. I want him to, I'd rather he not come and he lasts 10, 20 more years. He's not even that old for a grand, I'm gonna, he's not gonna watch this because I don't have internet. I don't even have the internet. but. Or a phone that's like this. He's 77, about four days ago. That reminds me, I've got to ring him about something. But he isn't like 90 or anything, so he has potentially still got like 20 more years. Like, if they were like 90, like I, I have heard a couple of people say, Oh, my grandma's 90, so she's gonna come because she's had a long life. Whereas I know people that have having grandparents on Christmas Day, but their grandparents are like 90 or 91 and they're like quite old. So they don't mind if it's their last one. Whereas my granddad's still youngish. He's only 77. Actually my grandma on that side is still 77 as well. None of my grandparents are still together. I've got loads of grandparents. Um, I've actually got two step granddads. So... I don't really call them that, I just call them by their name. And then, um, yeah, actually, I said I was going to film for 30 minutes, and I've been 30 minutes, so let's brush off the news question. Basically, my grand, basically, I don't really have, and then after dinner, we have presents, more presents. 
We usually, what, we usually have telly on in the background. And then we always have a quiz. And then after that, we usually go home. I think we usually get there at like one-ish. One, half, twelve, one-ish, straight after lunch. Basically, we don't really have lunch, but like... I would say between 12 and 1 we'd probably go, maybe half 1 and then we're usually there till about 8pm ish, not really late but not like, not really really late, mm. especially if I'm driving because I don't, I don't stay up that late, I'm usually in bed, I'm not usually asleep but I'm usually in bed by like 10 ish, so yeah, A funny moment though, not sure I really have one, I think cracker, pulling crackers and just the whole day is just so special. I don't know whether I have... I actually don't know if that's definitely happening this year. Because of everything that's going on. I think we might be. But I know my granddad's not getting involved. He don't want to see any of us. Not like he don't want to see us. He just wants to stay longer. Um, we're also not seeing my other... We're not seeing my grandma on my mum's side. Not seeing any of my mum's parents, basically. So there's my granddad, my grandma, my step-granddad. Not seeing any of them. Because... They're old, but they're not like 90, but they've also had problems in the past, so they want to like... Basically, if they get COVID, they're probably not going to last, so we can't risk it. And I think it's worth them missing a year. It's worth them skipping a year, not coming, not seeing them. Well, you we have to have seen them separate anyway, anyway. Not, I actually reckon, without seeing over 70s, my family is tiny. My family is tiny as it is. But I reckon there's only about 10 people that are over 70. But I would say it's worth them missing it and lasting another 5-10 years. I would... It would it would break my heart. It would break my heart if they came and then 6 months later they were gone. So I would much rather they would missed out. My mum went to my granddad a few days ago and gave him his birthday present. We sent the card in the post because his birthday was during the week. But his birthday present and a few other bits, some food. And she didn't even go in. She wouldn't go in. She don't, you don't want to risk it. You don't know where they've been. Like, my mum and sister are near loads of people. They don't go to the same school. My mum's a teacher and my sister goes to school, but they're not in the same school. But you don't know where they've been and you don't want to risk it. You can have you can have COVID but not have the symptoms. So yeah, we're not risking it this year. So I don't really know if any of that's happening. I don't really have a funny moment. Right, next one says, what's your traditional Christmas day? I've just basically explained it. Open presents, go to my uncle's, eat presents, quiz, all of that. Do we have any Christmas traditions? I guess most people do. I'm not sure we have any Christmas traditions. I would say opening presents first, having breakfast, and then we usually get ready to go out. If I'm driving, it'll take a little bit longer because I won't be going 70 down the dual carriageway. I don't know. I don't really have any traditions. It's usually quite quiet as well. It's not like you're going to be stuck in traffic. I don't think it... I don't know. I don't... We do the same thing every year. We do the exact same every Christmas. So I guess that's a tradition. Because some people will mix it up who they go and see. Like, say you're married. Some people will do it every other year, don't they? One year it's my family, next year it's yours, mine, yours, mine, yours. But because we don't have... We just go there every year, so... Presents, breakfast, get ready, go to my uncle's lunch or well, hang hang out for a bit or whatever you want to call it lunch presents quiz and that's basically it and they're usually quite hard so i never get them right right it's a real or fake tree now we used to get a real tree put it in the kitchen in the corner yeah a it doesn't fit in the bin after and they don't come and collect it for like two weeks. B, it's the state of your floor is a nightmare to clean because there's so many bits everywhere from the tree. And because it doesn't fit in your green bin, you've got to put it in your car and take it to the tip. So basically, you've got to clear your, car, your house and your car. Basically, it's way too much mess. So two years ago, three years ago, my mum found this M&S tree in the sale for £40. I think it's six or seven foot. 
I think it's seven foot. In in M and S, forty pounds, and yeah, she basically bought it and we've used it ever since. I it's now goes in the living room because it's not as it was going to go in the living room originally, but it's too messy. Now it's now it does because it's not as messy. I think we've had it two. Well, we bought it. So if you live near here, you will know that monks cr they built this new shopping place called Vanguard. So Monks, so M and S was originally Primark in Monks Cross, and that was closing down because it was moving to Vanguard. And they had loads of things in the sale, and my mum bought the tree in the sale there for forty pounds. I believe so, so, uh, it was hundred and thirty pound thing. She got for forty or something, and it moved. But I'm trying to remember how long ago it opened at Easter. Four years ago, I want to say. Anyway, it was just M and S next, and John Lewis, and now there's loads of shops. In loads of restaurants and now this year well there's now a stadium there's foot go there's um mini golf and bowling and a cinema but yeah I can't remember I think it opened at Easter four five years ago ages ago and it was in the clothing down sale so we used to but now we don't anymore and that is the end of the that is the end of the questions that was some of them did take a while to explain, but it's just nice to know, and it's nice to like. I just think it's nice. I can't just rush around and do loads of videos. It's nice to just sit down and focus. If you did like today's video, please give it a massive, massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and I will see you tomorrow with another day of Vlogmas. And I can't wait for Christmas. I just want it to be Christmas week so much. I cannot wait. I am like so excited and I have got a fun challenge video coming up it's like a food challenge sort of video hopefully I've got some arriving for that video as soon as it arrives I'll be filming it and I can't wait and I've also got eating Christmas Eve 24 hours so yeah I can't wait and I'll see you super super soon I cannot wait yeah I love Christmas so yeah my fav it's my favourite time of the year I prefer it to birthday and all that Please like and subscribe and I will see you so very soon and thank you for joining me for this Christmas Q&A.